Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D, and this is the Angler, the first of its kind flying gassed turret. I named it after an anglerfish due to its appearance, although the light has no other use than to further protect the front of the ghast. Now, before we jump straight into it though, there is a slight problem with the overall machine. When a block of any kind is moved forward by any means, we'll take cobble for example, it takes on an entity form when first moved as shown here. Then, when it returns to its stopped position, the block returns to cobblestone. In other words, if you have cobble, its blast resistance is 30. While moving, its entity counterpart is blast resistance 0. I'm sure this has a name, but I'll just call it the entity block for this video. Well, knowing this issue, I'm sure you understand that if the gas fires at you and the projectile lands as the blocks are being moved forward, they will be broken no matter how high the blast resistance. I actually exploit this feature in my gas powered cobblestone generator video that I also encourage everyone to go check out. But although there is a block destroying problem with the gas, if you slow the machine down just enough and if you have near 100% accuracy, it's actually ridiculously fun to fly this around and blast targets, your friends, anybody. So I had to do a tutorial so you guys can practice and tell me your best flight times. The idea of how to use it is simple. The vehicle works, it does its job wonderfully, it's just the user that determines the fate of the machine, making this a pretty advanced device to pilot. Alright, let's jump straight into it. For this build, you will need 64 and 59 slime blocks. You'll also need 64 and 62 block of your choice that is blast resistance 30 or higher. I have chosen end stone. You'll also need 8 sticky piston, 33 regular piston, 40 redstone blocks, uh, 1 sea lantern for the angler piece, the little light above the area where you will stand on the machine. You'll also need a couple flint and steels to uh, start it up and stop it. Um, 5 immovable blocks of your choice, does not matter. You also need one cobblestone for the, it's, this is kind of like, you don't have to use cobblestone. Also, this is just another block blast resistance 30 or higher. But uh, this is just to block off the gas while it's not in motion. So you may walk in front of it uh, uh, peacefully, I guess. But then this sea lantern right here isn't just another block that you can use. Uh, a block of your choice, any block. This is the block that you will be marking out uh, where you spawn your gas, then this block will eventually drop back as you move the machine forward and just become a part of the machine. So you don't have to go in there and, you know, do any problematic things with having to worry about getting hit with fireballs trying to break out blocks that aren't supposed to be there. No worries there. And of course, you'll need a gas. <coughs> so let's straighten up this inventory. All right. Now, after you have all that done, what you want to go ahead and do is find where you want to uh, build this device. This is going to be the bottom slime block. This will be the slime block in between these two redstone blocks right there, just to clarify uh, what's happening right now. Then, first up, what you want to do is just go ahead and put redstone blocks on it like this, and then slime block here, obsidian block here, sticky piston right there. So the back of the sticky piston is facing towards where you want it to go. <clears throat> then go, go ahead and have a piston face into the back of this obsidian block here. Now, as you can see, uh, this is our first engine, it's the bottom engine, and that is the direction that the machine will fly. Just to clarify, the obsidian is at the back of the machine. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and place endstone there and there, or your block of choice, of course. Then slime block on top, sticky pistons coming off the front of both sides. And then make them, of course, face into the slime blocks. And then coming out of the back, we can go ahead and place two more immovable blocks of your choice. Come off with pistons, like so. One there, and then one there. And then you can go ahead and pull out these back ones. <coughs> Next up, what you want to do is uh, power these uh, engines. So you can go ahead and place two redstone blocks, like so, and a slime block there on both sides. Go ahead, boom, boom, just like that. And then go ahead and place a piece of uh, block of your choice right here. Slime block here, block of choice here slime block there. <clears throat> so you should be looking at this back and forth kind of thing. Now, once you have that, just go ahead and place a slime block on the top of each, and a sticky pistons coming off the front of both, and go ahead and just have them face into the slime block on both sides. And then come out like this. Piston like so on both of those. Then of course, your last two immovable blocks there. And then you can actually just throw the redstone block on top this time. Next up, just go ahead and throw a piece of uh, 
block of your choice right there, a slime block here, and a regular piston there. Now, what this is, is the pusher for the, uh, this will be the piston that will push our trigger me mechanism to uh, start and stop the engine. <clears throat> so, what you want to do next, though, to make sure this engine keeps going, is place a slime block here and then a regular block right there. Then you can come off of this two on the front, three on the side. And this will give this kind of like a little pad area to uh, block the gas from underneath just a little bit. So coming forward like this, you just uh, you don't want a slime block here. You want a slime block back this far, and then you want to go ahead and just have like three of them like this. And then on the front of that slime block, uh, slime block uh, trio, go ahead and place a end stone there, redstone block here, and a redstone block there. Now once you have this coming off of this one, go one, two, three with your slime block, so it looks like so. And then once you have this, you can go ahead and come off the front of this slime block with a sticky piston there. Go ahead and make sure to put a block on the back of it and then a redstone block on top. And this is your uh, full trigger uh, switch. So I mean, all you gotta do is just place a block on it and back, and as you can see, it will trigger. Now, next and finally for <laughs> this step is the sticky piston here, then one, two, three. Then you want to go ahead and place a slime block here, redstone block there, and yes, it'll trigger, but that'll be fine. It'll go right back to where it needs to be. Then one, two, three slime blocks coming off the top right here. One slime block to the side, redstone block, piston facing towards the uh, slime block uh, construction here. And then go ahead and just place a piece of uh, block of your choice right there. That was my end stone. Sticky piston, and then you want one, two, three and then you want to have a piston facing the back of it like so and then you want to go ahead and have redstone block redstone block slime block slime block slime block slime block so you have this kinda look and then right on the top as soon as you have all that spike a piston and that is that whole step alright moving forward what you want to do is come out to this piston go ahead and place one slime block coming off of it and then we're gonna do this kind of uh, this H shape come down here so it looks like this and then you want to go ahead and throw a redstone block here piston here here there and there now once you have this we're gonna go ahead and come off of this piston like so down one with our slime blocks and over so you have this kind of really weird shape just make sure this slime block is coming to the outside and then what you're gonna go ahead and do is just spike it with a redstone block make the same exact shape right here so slime block here down one down one, so you have this kind of three angle, and then on the outside, you'll go ahead and place another slime block. This is literally just to power that piston. Then you want to go ahead and place a piston on the bottom there, and one right there. Now once you have this, we can go ahead and move to the top little area. Slime block's coming off both sides, and of course we'll mimic the same uh, function here. Uh, slime block with a piston on top, and then right here though, we have a slime block here, slime block there, and then a piston on the outside of it. You can go ahead and double this on this side, slime block, slime block, piston, and then another, uh, sorry, slime block, then a piston. Here we go. So you're looking at something that looks like this, then you can go ahead and swing around to this side, throw a redstone block there, and then a redstone block there. Coming back around to the front, we're going to go ahead and do the bottom of the machine too. So you want to come out from uh, these pistons with the slime blocks. Now this side in the front will be different than this side in the front. But uh, real quick for the two front pieces, you want to go ahead and place a slime block here and then a slime block there so you have this kind of like little three look. Go ahead and place a piston here. After you have a piston on both sides, go ahead and grab your block of choice. Put two coming out from this middle block. Then you want one here, one here, one there, and one here. And you want that on both sides. So one here, one there, here, and then there. So it looks like this. Then go ahead and swing around to the back, place a redstone block there, and then place a redstone block here. Now, after you have that, you should be looking at something that looks like this. You can go ahead and grab your slime blocks, come forward off of this one again, and you want two slime blocks here with a piston on the front. Both sides, of course. Two slime blocks, piston. Go ahead and grab your redstone blocks, place one there, place a redstone block there as well. Slime block in the middle, slime block, and then one end stone, or block of your choice on the front. Then one, two, three, four block of your choice coming off the top of that slime block. Again, that's one, two, three, four. Then on the inside here, just uh, two blocks of your choice. So it looks like this. 
Now, after you have something that looks like this, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, the we're going to go ahead and do the normal side first, which comes off like this with just two slime blocks here, and then you just want to go ahead and put another slime block here, <coughs> redstone block there, and then after you have this redstone block there, you can go ahead and put uh, your block of choice on it like so. So you have this kind of look, then you want to go ahead and place two blocks on it like this. <clears throat> this will uh, prevent you from falling off when we put the little platform in there uh, from each side because you will be standing relatively close to the ga to the ghast, but uh, no worries there. Uh, moving forward, this area, what we want to do is just put a block here for now. Now at the end of the build, uh, we have to move the whole machine forward one block to place the ghast where we need him uh, or her perfectly, and then we're going to go ahead and come back in and place a block here and then another one up top, but we'll worry about that at the end. Let's go ahead and move to this piston, come forward with a slime block, make sure there's two of them like so, then place a slime block on top, redstone block here, then go ahead and place your block of choice uh, like so, then of course like this, uh, so it mimics this side, but then this side is different with a block here, and then go ahead and place a block uh, on the inside really fast and then below that block you just placed right here on this slime block go ahead and place a piston now coming off of this piston what you want to do is have a slime block like this that this and then like that so you have this kind of like uh, pattern right here of four slime blocks kind of arcing back now on the top of this first one go ahead and place a redstone block then here just place a regular block here place a block uh, here and then here so you have this three and then one right here then place a block and then come to the inside and place another block right there now once you have this this is where you will stand uh, this is the opportune area to fire the fireball from uh, the gas as it's going and the the game, or uh, as you're moving, it seems to enjoy it. Uh, it ma makes it easier for you, I guess, to fire the fireball if you're moving forward before, like right before you fire it. So if you know you're right here in front of the gas, the machine's about to move forward. You move forward, and then you, wow, you know. But just make sure you uh, trigger the machine like close to when the gas is gonna fire again, so you don't have to like you know deal with. Uh, the machine moving at the exact same time the gas fires or that block problem will happen that I was talking about earlier. But anyway, once you have all of this, you should be looking at something that looks like this and you should be good to go to move on. All right, next up what we're going to do is the side uh, panels. So what we want to do first is come out from this piston with one slime block here, then two, then three. Go ahead and slam a, a piston down like so, and then down here you just want to go ahead and place uh, two uh, block of your choice like so, and then a redstone block here and then three more blocks of choice like that then what you're gonna do is put a slime block put slime blocks in this pattern this little three pattern uh, kinda just mapping out those last three blocks of the other segment we did then you wanna place a slime block on the outside with a block on it place a redstone block here and then after you do this go ahead and place uh, two blocks on the top of those slime blocks like so with the block in the uh, in the middle of both of those. And then just in case you didn't get it, we're going to go over that real quick one more time. Got a slime block here. That's going to be three of them though with a piston on the end. The piston will line up with this first uh, block of choice that you have. Then you're going to want to go ahead and you can do the slime blocks, uh, these three sl slime blocks really fast if you want to. Then come back, redstone block, three block of choice on the top, two on the bottom from that one. So you have this little hole here. Good to go after that. Then you can go ahead, redstone block here slime block there, regular block on the side, coming back around to the front, t two regular blocks on the top, and a uh, another block right there so for this overall look. Now, once you have this, uh, referring back to what I was talking about with the block that'll go here, the other blocks, <coughs> so there'll be four blocks total. There'll be one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now, unfortunately, we can't spawn the ghast like that, obviously. Uh, we have to spawn them in the middle here, because if we spawn him back any further, he spawns in these blocks, which coincidentally enough does nothing to him or her. But uh, unfortunately then, instead of these blocks working with these blocks to push the gas forward, it becomes only these blocks that push the gas forward, which isn't good. The gas uh, eventually falls back too far for you to be able to shoot its projectiles at, uh, you know, easily. But anyway, uh, once you have that, this segment is all good. Moving forward, what we're going to do is place one of our um, sea lanterns or whatever other block of choice you have. It's going to go right here, and then eventually this this is where you'll spawn your ghast, of course, or you know move it into this location, however you wish to do that. Um, but afterwards, uh, 
after you start this machine and it moves forward, this block will eventually travel all the way back to here, and that's where it will stay, and it will become a part of the machine, so no worries, and you don't have to come in and like break it out or anything like that if you're trying this in survival. But uh, other than all that, once you have this block here, you're good to go down there. Next up, what we're going to do is utilize these pistons. Uh, you want a slime block coming out from each of them, and then you want to come over one and then down one, like so. Uh, over one, down one, and then we're going to do kind of like a little mimic like how we did here on the bottom. Go ahead and grab uh, your block of choice, put one here and here and then there. Then you want to go ahead and do the same thing here, there, and there. So it looks like this, all to like all together right here. Then what you want to do is slam a redstone block here and then right there. Grab your pistons, place one here and here on the so there's on the tops over these, and then a piston here and a piston here. Now, once you have this, this is that complete uh, little piece there. So what we'll do is come off of these side pistons first. Now this piece is a little funky looking, but that's okay. It's just for protection, of, further protection of the gas. Make this little three pattern with a slime block on the front, so there's four total. Then you can go ahead and slam a piston on the front, and then come to the side with your regular block of uh, choice, and come out one, two, three, four, from the beginning of this slime block here. So as soon as you have four right here, what you can do is just slam a redstone block here. Oh, and it's not four, I apologize. It's three with a block here and a block there. So the fourth block is a slime block, underneath it place a regular block, and then in front of it place a regular block. And I apologize if that was confusing. So one more time, what we're going to do is have two blocks facing out like so, and then two blocks coming down to the side, so it should look like this, relevant to that piston. Redstone block here, come down to the bottom of it, the outside two blocks, place one here, one, two, three, four, forward, like so, and then you can place a piston on the front. Uh, oh, and it's not four, it's not four, it's three, with the fourth block being a slime block regular block here and then a regular block there just to further protect the uh, sides of the gas there. Now to move forward what we're going to do is just come out like this with two blocks, two slime blocks from those pistons, easy enough right? Go ahead and slam a redstone block there and a redstone block here. Now once you have this overall look what you're going to do is place a slime block right up here on the inside and here on the inside and go ahead and place a regular block there, regular block here, regular block, regular block and then two blocks like so. So it looks like this overall in the front. Um, now, once you have this little segment going, uh, we're going to go ahead and transfer over to the inside here. Now, uh, you're going to want to place a slime block here and here, and then go ahead and uh, you're going to want to place a block in this area, but uh, for the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get that location correct, so we're not having to change it later. So we'll go ahead and place slime blocks up here with one, two, three, four blocks in between them. Uh, starting at the slime blocks, you can go ahead and place redstone blocks here, and then one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So you have this one, two, one, two kind of pattern. Now I know where the blocks will be placed. We can place one here, here, and then there. And one more time, that'll be one off the side of the slime block there, one off the side of the slime block next to that piston here, and then one on the top. So you have this overall look. And then lastly, all you want to do is grab a piston, throw it in there, slime block coming out, coming down, redstone block there. So you have this kind of pattern, really uh, compact and uh, tight. And you have another uh, block choice there, slime block, and then your last sea lantern right there. So you should have this, this uh, overall look. Alright, now for the last need to know things of the build. Uh, real quick, just uh, real fast, what we want to do is place a um, regular block here, all the way up top. You want to go ahead and place a slime block right here. And once you do that, you can go ahead and just throw another block down right there. Now, what this will do is keep the gas at a low, uh, at a low height instead of you know him or her traveling up to about this height, which isn't too big a, of an issue. I mean, you know, unless you like fire in the fireball from like up here, which you know might have to redesign the machine a little bit. But if you just go ahead and do that, you should be good to go. Now, moving forward with uh, all of this, I know everything looks a little crazy, but I promise you, it's very fun to use this machine. And please do not feel discouraged at all if you 
can't get it to work for you right away or you can't get the timings down right away, practice makes perfect. This is a very advanced machine. In no way, shape, or form was I able to, you know, get those fireballs off ready willy-nilly. Oh no, this took lots of time and lots of patience. And I assure you, you can get it and it will be loads of fun. This is quite the machine to mess with. Now, anyway, uh, once we have all of that, the ghast, uh, I'm going to go ahead and spawn it. But first, uh, I'm going to go ahead and break out all the obsidian. Real quick, one, two, three, four, five obsidian total. And there should be no more in the build. The build should be good to go from everything from the tutorial. So real quick, uh, if you don't want to get hit with the ghast, you can uh, go ahead and grab your cobble and place it there. That's where the one block of cobble will go. You can use any block, obviously. Blast resistance 30 or higher. I just use a different block so you know you have to blow out this block before you go. Which then, once you're standing right here, you blow out this You blow out this block, it can see you, but you just go woof real quick and just send it off. And uh, you're good. You're good to go and shouldn't be too hard. And timings are not hard to get down either. Practice makes perfect. So let's go ahead and spawn this ghast in. Uh, if your block is here, no problem. Let's go ahead and just throw that in. And then we're going to go ahead and spawn our ghast. How's it going, ghasty? It's good to almost see ya. But first up, what we're going to do is we got to move the ghast, we got to move the machine forward so we can place these blocks. So up front, let's grab that flint and steel real fast. Then what you want to do, uh, the first flint and steel trick here, a little ignition switch will put the engine in place for a start, and then the next one will start the engine. <coughs> and then from here on out, you actually don't have to, it's just one start stop every time, just and you're good to go. Unless you want to reset it, you could always reset it, like, oh, I didn't really want to go. Okay, well, there you go. But put it in one switch mode like so, and then we're going to move it forward one block. So as soon as this moves forward one block, I'm just going to tap it again, because, you know, we don't want this guy going crazy, and we'll move this block real fast as well. So, real quick, here we go. And as you can see, the overall machine stopped. As soon as this piston moves forward, as soon as this mechanism moves forward, you have to ignite it to stop it. Or it could, uh, you know, damage the machine. I'm not sure, but I've just used it uh, enough to understand that. As soon as this moves forward, the best time to stop it is right then. Now, anyway, uh, as soon as you've done that, now you can see here, we have space, little bits of space, but it's enough space. And like I was saying before, if you're in survival, you can actually put this here. And you know, you kind of got to jump to place it, kind of get your aim right. There it is. Ooh, not there. Boom, did you see it? Right there. So, you know, it's not hard. Go ahead and place it there. And then come down this way and place a block here. And then go ahead one last block right there. And then you're good. You're good to go. But that's going to do it for this tutorial, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If the gas slips back or to the side, you can always push it forward at the back here. And if it isn't centered, if you'd like, although I'm sure the machine will still run accordingly, you can just come to the side alcove here and give him or her a slight nudge, and you'll be good to go. And again, let me know your best flight times in the comments. Don't get discouraged. And of course, if you have any ideas that you would like to see come to life but aren't too sure on how to go about it, then I encourage you to comment your idea, and who knows, it might just be my next tutorial. And I'll leave your name in the video and the description as the one who requested the design. But until the next video, you guys, later late.